Hi everyone, it's Gina with Peonies of America. Uh, I'm going to be repotting some of my seedlings tonight that I had started under my green light here. Um, my Bells of Ireland are getting a little bit um, packed in there. They're getting a little crushed in there. So I'm going to repot some of my Bells of Ireland and probably some of the Aster. They're kind of uh, starting to get really crowded. So what I did is I bought some of the Proven Winners. I'm gonna try them, some of the seed starting pots. Uh, and they already have amendments in them. They're, they're uh, compostable and self-feeding, protein-rich plant food built right into the pots of the walls. So that way when these uh, get large, I won't have to repot them again. I can just put them right out into the soil. So I'm gonna try these and we'll see how they go. Okay, so I've almost got the whole tray full of the seedling pots from Proven Winners here. And also, if anybody uh, didn't know, Proven Winners also sells a uh, small line of seeds, so you might wanna get on their website and look. I purchased um, four different varieties, um, strawberries, uh, a little tomato, a pepper, and some basil. And I'm gonna try that little set. It comes in sets and then they send you the pots with them but I'm gonna use these pots for my seedlings. So what I've done is I have um, filled up, the, or this bag of my potting mix was almost empty, so I just brought it over to the sink and I filled it full of water and it's just, it's made it that perfect consistency. So now I can just fill my pot, my seedling pot, and um, go over to the, back over to the green light area and fill my pots, or uh, replant repot my seedlings and then I will be ready to go but this one is almost completely full and I believe I was able to get about ooh, 24 in here so that'll be uh, it'll help it'll let it'll let those other seedling seedlings go ahead and grow table here I brought my pots full of the uh, seedling mix and it's wet it's ready to go and um, also, if you were wondering on the Proven Winners, um, I'll go back over that. It's on their website, and they were new. I believe they're new this year. And these seed starting pots, um, they come with like a little, uh, I think you can get the pots separately. You can just order the pots. What I did is I, I got what was called the Patio Collection, and it just came with four, uh, four variety of seeds. And it comes with... Um, a lot of information about it, about the uh, planting your seeds and stuff like that, it, and it's good information. Uh, there's how to, uh, the right time and temperature for the, the uh, let's see, the tomatoes, and then I got strawberries, basil, and um, oh, what was the other one? Basil, oh, and peppers, and a hot pepper. So the strawberry seeds they say to put in the freezer for about 10, 10 days to two weeks. So my, my strawberry seeds are in the freezer right now. And then the one that came with this patio collection was a pepper, it's called Fire Away, my proven winners. Then I got the Pesto Besto, and then the Good Hearted, and these are the little tomatoes. And they come with about 60 of those pots and I believe that collection was maybe $48 or something. Um, but I, of course, you see what I'm using the pots for. I'm using the pots for my seedlings. And I also had some sweet peas come in from Florette. So, of course, I've got those soaking right over here already. And those should, I should have started those a little earlier. But that's okay. I've got them. I'm starting them. And um, those are real pretty, real pretty color sweet peas. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, and I'm going to start with the apricot, and I'm going to get some of these in there. Okay, so here I've got, I've got four of them in there, and I've just put a, a cardboard box down here, and I'm just taking apart the, uh, the roots right now in the Bells of Ireland right there. So, nice big roots. So what I've done is I've put a pretty good hole in there with my finger, 
and I'm just putting the roots down in there. I hope you can see that where my arm is not in the way, but get all the roots in that hole, get it down in there, all the way to the neck, and just tuck it in. And then I've got another one right here, another really nice little root. Just made a hole with my finger, and let's get that tucked down in there. And then I just tuck it to the neck again, just like it was brand new. And then I've got one more I can put over here. Make a large enough hole where all the roots will fit down in there. Again, I'm just going to slip the, the roots down in there. Come on, guys. All the roots go down along with the, the neck. And I just tuck it in there just like such. And those are my bales of Ireland, and I'm going to put a, do a few more of them. Okay, so I have them almost finished. And I'm going right through these little pots. I had more of the barrels of Ireland than I thought. Um, of course, when you do seedlings, you always, when you start pulling them apart, you're like, oh my gosh, I have so many. But I wanted a lot of the bells of Ireland. And um, I just think that they're absolutely beautiful when they're planted in a mass. Okay, I have two left. So, and then I've got still, I've got three more cups over here. So I've got a lot of work to do when you go to repot these things. That's why I, I'm just really, I'm growing these just for, for me, um, give a, to give away and to enjoy, to make arrangements here, um, and just to see what they're like. This is my first time growing Bells of Ireland, and I have a cardboard um, I have some cardboard down here that I'm putting all the the soil and stuff on. I'm dumping them out right there in that cardboard. And I just don't have enough room up here on this table to do it all. So um, I really should put those in there too, but I'm not. This one here isn't as full, so they'll be all right. And neither is this one. This one just has a few. So I think I'll let those grow a little bit longer. And the aster, the aster has really outgrown these pots. If you can see that, they have really outgrown these. And I am gonna have to do something with these. I might just end up putting them out, outside, because they, they do have their third leaf on there. And some of them are even farther along, really growing very well. And I have a bunch of them over here. Um, so, along with the stalk and uh, the dianthesis, but when you go to seed stuff, it, when you pour them in the cups like this, unless you just do one per container, um, then you have to go back through and you have to separate these out, and that does take a little bit of work and effort. So I think I'm just going to uh, redo one of these aster pots over here, and we'll see how it turns out.